Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making chewy Chex bars. So my name is Kristen and this is Abby. She is my special helper in the kitchen today. Now we've teamed up with Chex to bring you these chewy Chex bars. These are so easy to make, you don't even need a pan to put them together. All you need is the microwave and about five ingredients, am I right? Yeah. Let's head on to the kitchen and make these delicious, chewy Chex bars. So the five ingredients you need are rice Chex cereal, marshmallows, butter, chocolate chips, and candy coated chocolate. Now we're gonna start with the four tablespoons of butter. We're gonna put it in a microwave safe bowl and microwave it until it is about halfway melted. Now once it's a little bit melted, we're gonna add in our marshmallows. This is about four cups of mini marshmallows. You could also use the big marshmallows too. I would add about four and a half or five cups of those. So now you're just going to stir and mix the butter in with the marshmallows and microwave it again. Now you're gonna microwave just until the marshmallows are melted. Then you're gonna add about six cups of Chex cereal. Now just mix it until it's well combined. Now after I'm done mixing it pretty well, I let it cool for just a minute or two before adding my candy. Because if it's really hot, it will melt my candy and I don't want to melt all of the candy. I want it to still stay in its shape. So very gently mix in your candy so you don't crush your candy and so you don't crush the Czech cereal. Now once you're done mixing, you're going to pour it into a 9 by 13 pan. Now we sprayed this pan with nonstick cooking spray so it'll be easy to pull off the cereal bars when they're done cooling. Okay, spread it out and here's my trick. I like to spray Pam or nonstick cooking spray onto her hands so she'll be able to press it down without it sticking. So I just sprinkled on a few more candy and then pressed them down so it can add a little more color. Now for the topping. We're gonna melt the chocolate chips in the microwave. If it's not melted enough, you could add a little bit of oil and melt it more in the microwave but you want it pretty, I like mine thick instead of really thin. So a little bit thick so you can actually taste the chocolate as you drizzle it on. Now once the chocolate is hardened, go ahead and cut it up and let your kids taste it. Now I just have to say, I think my kids really enjoyed this recipe. Now a special thanks to Chex Cereal and General Mills for sponsoring this post. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. All right, see you later. Bye.